Editing is such an important process that a lot of people look over. It is the best when you don't notice it, but that means a lot of people don't get to appreciate it. And with this video today, I would like to shine a light on that process and the creativity behind it and the people that get to do it. To help me explore the process of editing, I got the privilege of interviewing Jerry Chia, who is a professional video editor. My name is Hahan Chia, but I go by Jerry, um, and I'm a video editor at Good Company. So I've been with Good Company for almost eight years now. Right after university, I finished up and then started interning at um, Good Company as like three, four months of internship. And then after that, I was a temp assistant. And then I got hired full time after nine months of working intern slash temp. And then I got hired as assistant editor and then worked my way up to senior lead editor at Good Company now. Editing is a lot more than what people think it is. It's a lot more than just piecing together something on the timeline in a linear fashion. There is a, a rhythm in artistry behind it. I always say editors are always the last storytellers and we're always the last piece to the puzzle of from production to post-production. We are always like the final piece of putting it all together. And you're not just throwing some footage and expected to just create stuff. As an editor is very hands-on with everything, um, we do have the process from um, the original script to all the way to the final um, film, basically, especially with music videos. The piece of work we are looking at today by Jerry Chia is his work on Tiny Moves by the Bleachers, directed by Margaret Qualley and Alex Lockett. Um, when I was working on Tiniest Moves, for the bleachers, Alex, I work with the last two episodes or last two music videos. We we knew going in with the treatment of everything from Alex, and we knew that his idea and Margaret's idea for tiny tiny moves is very much choreographed and shot by shot of what their vision is already. Usually with treatment boards, it'll have the director's idea of what he sees as the vision of the music video would be and the mood and the lighting and like the color vibe into this music video is all placed into this treatment board on a PDF. And it sometimes has links to like references of music videos or references to old films because we, Alex really, Alex and Margaret really wanted to make this piece like a timeless and timeless piece that any, any time of the year, any like five years from now, it'll be still relevant to or um, relevant to the day. And so they really wanted to make sure that this is basically like a love letter to Jack in a way. Um, but yeah, it's, it was, it was fun. What surprised me is that just the amount of communication that is required, you need to be able to speak your mind, to interpret what the director or producer or both are trying to direct you towards. And then you need to be able to respond to that in a clear way without dominating their style. It's a compromise, essentially, but in a positive way. When I first get the treatment, I'll, I'll say like, my ideas are like already flowing into my head. Um, and really want to see what you guys captured in production and on the footage. So once I've received the footage, I'll go through and pick my favorite selects and try to find the takes that is more like casual and candid and not so posy in a way. Us as editors, we we have our own style of editing and that's why they would be like, oh, Jerry would be great to edit for this because he's just done this in the past. But you also have to blend into with what the direction is from the director and how his style is. So it's like a mix of both and it's a great collaboration. With um, Tiny Moves, we, uh, I did a, I don't know, I'm gonna say like the pull selects and then we did a version. And I would say all within less than two days because it was a fast turnaround. It was like, we have to get it right away. Um, I sent it to Alex and then Alex had some minor notes. I'll change it with before we send it even to Jack and Margaret. And once we did those notes from Alex, we send off the first draft to them and then they'll give us feedback. I would sit down in session with Alex 
and we would have like one-on-ones together and then he would be sitting down with Jack without me and he would go to Jack's studio to show him the music videos but then the last towards the last um edit session Margaret did come into our office and we had a one-on-one session along with Alex and it was it was such a blast to throw a dense question at Jerry I asked him on his interpretation of what I got given for an assignment and that theme is making kin in the Anthropocene I don't know. I think I think what you were saying is building that connection and building your network through friends and coworkers and collaborators. And you just want to keep on having that human experience, especially with AI that's happening right now. It's like we it could be taking over like this human connection. And I still really love to just keep it like one on ones and like in person and um having that bond and like personality that comes through and, and collaborating with each other. Um, but yeah, I think, I think building that connection through friends, I think that's, that's my maybe answer for it. I think the title of the song tiny moves is the perfect way to describe editing is the minute actions you take in choosing the shots in the frame by frames that make the final product what it is, the storytelling precise and beautiful as it should be. And I would like to thank Jerry Chia, check out all his work it is beautiful. I can not say how happy I am. It was a privilege talking to him and I can't thank him enough for being interviewed by me.